Hey guys, welcome back to Software Maniac. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit your videos and uh, how to edit video effects using VideoPad Video Editor based on the uh, comment from a fellow subscriber uh, in one of my previous videos regarding the same software. So without much ado, let us get started. So first up we need to go to VideoPad Video Editor. This is how it looks like. I've added two videos together, Connectify Hotspot and How to Convert 30fps Video to 60fps. And I'm just adding this to my timeline video track and I'm overlapping another video from here. Just drag and drop your video. This is the overlapped video. As you can see the other video is overlapped on the first video that I added to the timeline. Now I'll, I'll go to Video Effects and uh, I'll use, this, use the split screen effect. This is the split screen effect. This is the A side of the screen and uh, the B side of the screen. You can take any side of the screen you want to. This is the layout. You can also use grid 2 cross 2 or even 4 cross 4 grid. In order to merge 4 videos together, you can use grid 2 cross 2. And this is part A, B, C, D. For my purpose, I'm going to use horizontal to at the moment. Now I'll go to effects of the other video and I'll add once again split screen and edit, take it on the B side of the video and the layout should be the same. Now let's see how it looks like when you run the video. Uh, just wait a just wait a minute and showcase you. I'll go to effects once again. Just check it out how it looks like. It takes some time to build preview. Just wait a minute. The second two. Uh, now you, you can see both of the videos are playing simultaneously. On the left side you can see uh, how to convert 30 FPS, and on the right side you can see Connected by Hotspot 2015. This is the split screen effect that I have provided in this video. Now, for my purpose, I will I can also delete the effects from here. Just press on the cross icon. So I have deleted the effect from the video, from the particular video. I can also use a crop effect. Let's see what it do, does. You can crop any kind of uh, video so that you can just see a particular part of the video. Uh, for my purpose, I'm just cancelling this effect once again. Uh, let's uh, see the other uh, video effects. This is the mirror effect. This is the motion picture effect. Let's see what it does. I'm just adjusting the scale. You can just move your video in any direction you want to, whichever direction you want to. Uh, so this is and this is not of a particular importance. For just for the sake of showing you, I am showing you. Mm, this is the scale. Scale is another important uh, video effect that is useful. You can just scale your videos so that you can uh, so that you can show just a particular part of your video. I'm just showing you a particular segment of the video at the moment. Only this screen is available, as you can see. Now let us add blending and color correction kind of video uh, effects. This is the brightness contrast gamma. As you can see, you can adjust the brightness from here, from the left side. You can also adjust the contrast of the videos. Now I'm, uh, if you just want to edit some part of your video, let's say this uh, part of the video I want to edit only the part of the video that is available here press on polygon mask and i'll just 
adjust the borders where I want to apply a particular video effect so this is where I want to apply the particular effect under the red line red borders I'm applying a brightness contrast drama you can clearly see the difference between the edited video and the non edited part of the video non edited part of the video once again I'm cancelling both of the effects let's go to now uh, the blending and color correction as well you can see these we can use VSF which we want to uh, let's see we go to filters and this is the blur sharpen effect another very important uh, video effect in the video pad video editor software so you can adjust the smoothness of this video let's say I want to just add it a particular part of the video once again as I did it previously in contrast I have just underlining the borders of the video as you can see now I have created the blur sharpen effect as you can see this is the smoothness of the video this is the difference yes particularly evident non edited and edited part of the video both seem different so you can use a border to create a particular effect in just a part of the video this is the polygon mask you can also save this kind of uh, video effect uh, using any name you want to let's say my template name is uh, blur effect I'm just giving a name and uh, whenever I, I want to add that effect in any kind of video I'll just go to templates and this is the blur effect you can see mm, now let's say I want to add this blur effect in this video and go to effects once again by clicking right right and uh, go to blur effects yes in templates you can see the border has come here so I can edit the particular section of the video now this is how we can use other video effects as well in any kind of particular video that you want to Let's uh, export this video file uh, after rendering after successful completion of a video you can export this video file you can save wherever you want to and you can also adjust the resolution to 1440p or 2160p or even 1080, 1080p whichever resolution you want to you can also adjust the maximum frame rate you can also adjust it to 60 and uh, for my purpose I'm doing it for 29.97 and this is the constant frame rate option as well and click on create so a video starts rendering the process of rendering gets started as you can see I'll just cancel it at the moment because I want to show you different thing another thing as well I will want to save my project as well for my further use when I want to continue my work uh, the type save type is uh, video pad project dot vpj okay so I'll give a file name to the video and uh, I'll click on close so that I can use it whenever I want to so thank you guys for watching this video please stay tuned on software maniac this is Mohit signing off peace